I think I got it this time. This time I'm good. Um, get situated here. It's me, Mike, with iPlanes Design Studio. Um, I'm live coding again. I'll be returning to this arcade app that I was making using Angular 4, which I'm brand new to using Angular 4 in TypeScript. I just picked it up at the beginning of last week, so going on my second week. Um, so, I'm gonna, I've been taking it apart, taking, taking a look and see how it works. Um, uh, let me take a look. I'm back. Okay, so last night, my problem, I did figure it out after I, I stopped live streaming. Last night I was having a problem. What I needed to do is get this URL. Um, these URL, I needed to get access to this URL data uh, in the routers, and I didn't know how to figure it out. I was trying to do all kinds of crazy stuff out in the game component. I was trying to mess with um, quite a few things, but then I did find, and, and I figured out it was much easier. Um, let me stop real quick. Okay, so I'm good to go. What was going on was that I was making it more difficult than I needed it to be, but I did finally find out, so check it out. If you look at the routes in Angular, uh, the docs, the Angular docs, the API, you'll see that the description I had schemed, I went straight over. Uh, right here it says the data, so that's what I was looking for, that route data is an additional is additional data provided to component via activated route so I click on activated route I know I had come across activated route um, route snapshot is what I was trying to do um, and try to access it that way but that did not work out properly so I did figure out finally that here's the data and so it was as simple as how to use it told me how to use it right here I didn't I clearly missed this part I did not realize that they had a some of these docs have a how to use so I wasn't reading the docs last night properly but uh, I did find it after I streamed so check it out it tells you you put it in a component right here and you put it in the constructor you put a route activated route and then you'll see that the route params.map so you'll notice that that's where I can start using that route data um, and so you use the activated route and so I realized that the where is it the data is not observable so so basically the data what I did first here it is let's take a look at what it was um, so there it is I put it route activated route so I gave my I, all I did is import the activated route into my component my game component and what did I do? I here it is. I gave myself a private route. So on in it because then it told me. I don't remember if it told me right here, um, but I did find out what I, I think what I had found it out was over here. Let me take a look. Getting started. Uh, no, it was fundamentals. Yeah, I think I, it's in fundamentals. So remember, if you remember my last video, I had come in here into the routing section. I was trying to use this uh, in the milestone six, I think is what it was. No, it was mile five. So fetch data. So this is where I was trying to, this is where I was getting all this router snapshot activated. I couldn't quite figure it out until I finally figured it out. Um, that that data was a lot easier to get a hold of because this did show me I think in the crisis detail component see so it had the activated route over here and so it had the activated right right here constructor private route activated route and this is where it showed me I saw this this dot route dot data because um, if you look let me go ahead and do this I will, I'll go ahead and console log out the because I at this point I knew I had access to the route dot data. This point I knew I had access to uh, this dot route dot data. So at this point, once I had done it, I didn't you know oh you can't see me, but I hadn't come up with this section so much yet. 
so what, what I had done is as soon as I would figured this part out I just came I, I had this I knew I had the route and I just consoled it out during my initiate uh, init phase and so if I do that you'll notice that if I inspect it um, console there's nothing right now but when I click on game one uh, see it gave me the URL um, so this is this error that I'm getting is, is something different but you'll notice that there's the URL and I was finally getting that information I was like hey look there's my data my route.data contained my URL that I had put into if you remember mm, where is it my app module in my router module I put the path and I put the data and I put the URL because I'm using what, I, what I'm doing here is I'm using multiple paths and I'm gonna be pulling up different components I mean it's the same component but I'm gonna have different paths working with one component which is I don't know if that's unusual if that's weird but that's the way I'm coming up with this because I'm gonna have multiple games in that game component and I'm just gonna based off of their URL that same component still gonna be the same component because the games are gonna be the same size everything the components gonna be the same thing the only difference is gonna be where where the URL from where the uh, project assets sit next to each other or sit close by so that's really I don't feel like I should hard code that into every you know I, I could make theoretically I could make a component for every single game I could call this game one component game two component game three component and then in this router I could just do different components but that to me seemed like a waste because if you come back to my my game component where's my game component HTML I've only got one iframe in here and uh, there's gonna be game playing I have my other videos where for some reason it was working then and now it is not working and I'm not entirely sure why but I do know I would figured out this in a previous session of my own where I don't think I have that one videotape but I'm getting a Dom sanitizer uh, error so for some reason the URL context is considered unsafe when you're doing it this way and I don't know why um, so I'll have to sanitize that URL which I don't think is very difficult I had managed to do it there I, I, I already found the class for that in the past uh, few days but so what well, that is the next step but at the end of the day what it did manage to do when I came to get this console logged out all I had to do was import the activated route from the angular router and obviously uh, I think the other thing I had to do was I didn't have to do anything over here no, because I did not use it as a service I just added it into the component and uh, once I figured that out the route.data um, returns if you notice what it does is it returns this behavior subject and the behavior subject um, see look at there's the observer it's got a subscriber so that's how when you have a behavior subject so this is what those observers are for for these behavior subjects and these behavior subjects I guess come from uh, RxJS which <clears throat> I guess this is it, ReactiveX, RxJS, it has these behavior subjects. It is not, I guess, the same thing as um, as, um, as Angular. It's a library that Angular has included inside of their own. So if you notice, it's got this observable. And I guess somewhere down here, let's see, subscribe, subscribe. No. No, it's observer. No, this is the observer, right? I'm an observable, observable, and I think this is where I remember coming through here, coming through, and I. This is what I had done, and I was like, I think this is where the subscribes come, and I think I had found the subscribe around here somewhere. Uh, subscribe on, and and see, so I'd come on to subscribe on, and I, I I still don't know how to use too much this this API. I haven't looked at it entirely too much but when I did see the scribe on I, that's when it reminded me of of these observables and then that's kind of when I came and realized that uh, on my routing that's where I found this right here when I found this I came and looked at this and I was like hey look I found where they imported the activated route found the constructor where they had in 
included their private route, activated route, just like I had done. They'd also come up with a router and a dialogue service. So, but all I needed was this route dot data, and so I saw the subscribe, and then I kind of figured out how that subscribe works. You put in, um, and I, I don't, I, I'd have to let me see. Maybe you might have it over here, because over here you got data observable. Uh, data see it's just got to import data name string so it doesn't really I'd have to I gotta find out more about these observables because I'm I, I, it's a little separate but either way it has to do with the subscribe and you'll notice that when I add that subscribe it has the observers all of a sudden and it has you know an observer and there's a subscriber and I guess you can have access to that and so there's more to the subscribing that I gotta maybe figure out later but I did I think just copy it almost verbatim I just took this data and I knew I didn't need that much I just did data and then I console log that data and uh, look so if you notice now that's where that URL comes from Okay, so that's why I have the behavior subject, and then I have the URL, which comes from, you'll see line 16, line 19, so line 16, line 19, so those are my different lines, so now I can go ahead and, uh, yeah, and then I found out that data, and then I just went, this URL equals data URL, so I had included my own in the component, so then I had the URL, and I, that's how I had the URL. And then using that URL, uh, I changed the source from a fully, uh, like like I said, if I put in a different name, a straight up name, it will work. But when I'm doing it like this, for some reason, I guess it has to sanitize it. When I'm doing this binding method, uh, this binding process, because uh, I've got the source attribute bind, uh, bound to the URL variable within the game component. And so now... Uh, but that is the point at that point instead of it showing like it was actually showing last time around when I just when I actually put the uh, actual source name, uh, Address in there it will give it'll show the video it'll show the game But this one since that's not the case what happens is I get this error unsafe value used in resource URL context So it gives me this whole uh, site security preventing cross-site scripting so um Sanitation and security context, I think, is what I'm looking for. Resource URL is a URL that will be loaded as code, for example, in script.source. So that's kind of what we're looking at because we're using that source. Um, so in a in a in an iframe. So let's see if we can find out what this means. Sanitization example. Um, Let's go in binding. I'm just looking. Like I said, I, I'm just coming across this almost brand new. I, I'd come over the way I'd figured out last time. Um, I, I don't know if I'll find it out here, but I, I, I got to remember the name of it. Um, but I will remember it if I don't find it here. Let me see. Dom, let me see. Where am I? I'm in security. So I'm in security technique. Security. Uh, for the HTML tip or tip, it bind it to the HTML property, such as but binding a value that an attacker might control control into enter HTML normally causes an XSS vulnerability. I don't even know what an XSS vulnerability is necessarily. Did I read what it was? Preventing cross-site scripting. So that is what an XSS is. Cross-site scripting, which that um, that's that is that makes sense now because I could do get requests. And uh, try to get your try to get your component, I guess, with some get information, and maybe toss in some data there. I guess I guess I could do something like that. I, I guess I can understand that. And it, either way, so it's got to. It looks like what it's got to do is it's got to to systematically block XSS bugs. Angular treats all values as untrusted by default. So even my own values are untrusted by default, and that's just. This is good security because can't trust nobody in this world apparently. Uh, when a value is inserted into the DOM from a template via property, oh by the way, getting back into that. Uh, before I move on, I, you know, my mistake. I, I not, don't say it like. Anyway, uh, the world is coming to an end. Jesus Christ, the King, and I'm obligated to say that, and I just slip it in there.
because ha <laughs> ha, it's funny to me. Go watch Unheard Radio, you don't understand. Uh, but anyway, let's keep going back into this. Uh, class binding or interpolation, angular sanitizes and escapes untrusted values. Um, let's see, and binding expressions, but not the values bound in templates are trusted to be safe. This means that applications must prevent values that an attacker can control from ever making it into the source code of a template. Never generate template source code by concatenating user input and templates. Um, so I gotta, I gotta, that's even more security that I am not, it's going beyond my head right now even though I'm reading it. It usually takes several times for me to digest any of this. Uh, sanitization, sanitization and security, so... Angular defines the following security context. So sanitization is the inspection of an untrusted value, turning into a value that's safe to insert into the DOM. And in many cases, um, doesn't change a value at all. So that's exactly what I, I need. So if you notice, that's my, that's my situation. Oh look, I think I've gone invisible. Uh, URL is, let me, let me take a look. It's fine. I don't. I've got bad lighting in here. That's what it is. Bad lighting. Okay. I think it needs me close. Last time, that's how close I was. I was really close. <clears throat> but uh, it's cool. I'll just be a ghost. I'm a ghost, everybody. Everybody knows that for sure. I'm straight up a ghost. Um. And where am I going? So styles. So these are the different securities. So HTML. If you're gonna try to a insert HTML, if you're gonna have try to insert some style, if you're gonna try to insert URL uh, or resource URL. So that seems seems legitimate to me. Seems uh, good enough. Seems understandable. Uh, so it interpolates it and once by binding it. So great. So that's what it does. Interpolated content is always escaped. The HTML isn't interpreted and the browser displays angle brackets in the element's text content. For the HTML to be interpreted, bind it to an HTML property such as inner HTML. But binding a value that an attacker might control into H might cause that's what it calls. Okay. Code contained into a script tag is executed. So what next? So that's your component and it says He's got a, here's some script, alert, owned, uh, they used owned, syntax, that's funny. Uh, Angular recognizes the value as unsafe and automatically sanitizes it, which removes the script tag but keeps safe content such as the text content of the script tag and vElement. Uh, avoid direct use of the DOM APIs. Uh, the built-in doesn't automatically protect you, so content, content is a high defense technique to prevent XSS to enable CSP configure your web server uh, use the offline in offline template no nope. server site no nope. no nope. none of this is looking like what I had done uh, so that doesn't have what I was looking for so let me see if I can just do this because I need that Dom sanitizer and there's something called a, a class called Dom sanitizer and I'll just look for it in the API, but I was hoping maybe it would show me there in the in that section, but it did not. So let's see, because I'm trying to see where else it would give me information on that. But let's see. But so you could find it. You know, it's always go back to Stack Overflow, everybody. Um, you know, so you post your questions and answer your questions because this is how it's done. Since upgrading to the latest Angular 2 release candidate, my image tags are thrown in image, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but you see, I've added the following code to controller, DOM sanitization. So they did it as a whole service. So I'm going to have to figure out this whole DOM sanitization uh, because this is, I'm using RC4 and this method works. So this guy impotent, uh, it gets the DOM sanitization service this sanitizer equals sanitizer so he pulls it into the sanitizer from the constructor uh, just like just like anything else this sanitizer oh bypass security trust URL that is what I'm looking for right there 
So, uh, let's get out of that. And so now that makes sense to me again. So here is the activated route. Let's go to API. And what we're looking for is DOM sanitizer. Look, there is DOM sanitizer. So, uh, in fact, I'm not even going to do the DOM sanitizer service, it looks like. It's just DOM sanitizer. So, and it even tells you right here security risks. It tells you right here DOM sanitizer, implement sanitizer. Uh, and it's got sanitized, bypassed, so, so you can trust the HTML, trust style, trust script, trust URL. Uh, so it looks like safe URL. That's what we're looking. Bypass, security, trust URL. So, and it's got a description. And so this is what I'm looking for. And I didn't quite find it in, in the Angular, but I found it on Stack Overflow. And so, next thing we got, no, let's see. Let's, I'm going to get rid of that we're in the game component I just copied and pasted that import statement so import the DOM sanitizer from the angular app platform browser whatever you want to say and now so now I can go ahead and on the uh, I can go ahead and just go in the constructors let's go private sanitizer and we'll go DOM sanitizer. So now I've got a sanitizer. So how do they use this sanitizer over here? This guy uses it. Let's see. No, oh, he just puts it in anywhere. He just puts it anywhere. So right here, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead and put it its own get URL. So that's the energy. We're going to go ahead and do get URL. And that's going to be a method that we have. And we're going to do this dot sanitizer dot bypass uh, security trust URL. And you put it in the string and you're going to put URL. And you're going to do that. Oh, you're going to make sure you put in this dot URL. And then now that I've got that done, instead of in the game component in the source URL, I'm going to go ahead and say get URL. And it's got to return. Now that I think about it, you're going to trust, you got to, I guess I'm going to have to return this if you think about this. I'm going to put this, put those in brackets, home it, and let's just put it as simple as return. This dot sanitizer, this that you are. I guess I don't even have to put it in parentheses, but I did it anyway. So now, let's see if this does anything. Uh, required a safe resource URL. Got a URL. Okay, so you notice that my error now is saying required a safe resource URL. So I used the wrong because if you look at here. I got a safe URL and this wants a safe resource URL. So I need to do this method, security trust resource URL. So so that was, uh, I probably should have known that too, but um, I figured it was that one first. But okay, so let me go ahead and, let me go ahead and get rid of all that and clean up. This dot sanitizer dot bypass security trust, that one, and then put some this dot URL and then that. So now let's hopefully this works everybody and bam so now we're having a different problem fail to compile oh no okay hey there it is people so let's see this is painting a theft of a grand nature so this is game one so this is game two remember if you remember my different games water is the glasses friend <laughs> <laughs> That's what I named it. <coughs> uh, I hope I'm not muted. So great. All right, laptop conspirators. So if you notice, I just click on these links. I'm using one different component, and uh, I think it's actually pretty quick too. Because if you look at your network, uh, I don't really know how to use this too much. I forgot how to use it. Uh, disabled online. So I guess I gotta start. Capture screenshots, clear, stop recording network logs. So if you notice, I don't think anything, let's see, when I press new game, a bunch of stuff pops up. And that's the, that's the, 
that's all the things, right? But now take a look, if I go to game two, uh, nothing really happens because I've already downloaded this. And so it's not necessarily having to get anything until it has to get the things. You see how now all of a sudden it got more. Uh, all right, and so now we got that though, but let's see, now we go back to game three. And, uh, let's see, it's all very quick. Game one will be a little slower, maybe because. But now I got this. Either way, I got it. That's that's uh, that's more stuff. I don't have time to to uh, go over. But so check it out. I got a game here, and I'll just pick up this game. And they're the different games. Great. And that is that's the start of that. Now the next thing I got to do is start. Uh, making what I'm gonna do now or next and I'm probably gonna stop this stream right now and get this organized while I go uh, show this quick prototype this would have been so much quicker if I didn't go through all this explanation but uh, I gotta go show uh, some people that um, you know I gotta people wanna uh, anyway I gotta go show some people some this so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye Name Jesus Christ, everybody's blessed. Uh, end of the world's coming. Let's do fun things uh, because uh, we're gonna get to live forever, even though I die. You know, even if I die, because that's just the curse that I'm cursed. I'm cursed. You can't kill me, you fools. Can't kill me. Anyway, bye.